Hi everyone, we're going to talk about the operating principle of a dynamo. But first, you have to be introduced to the Fleming's right hand rule in order to understand it better. So, Fleming's right hand rule. I believe that you have learned the Fleming's left hand rule. Yes, Fleming's left hand rule and Fleming's right hand rule are pretty similar. They are both uh, proposed by Flemings, but they have um, a bit of difference in terms of their usage. So Fleming's right hand rule is basically the same as Fleming's left hand rule, but it only applies to dynamo, whereas the Fleming's left hand rule only applies to motor. So you have to know the difference. Fleming's right hand for dynamo, Fleming's left hand for a motor. So since Fleming's right hand rule and Fleming's left hand rule have are the same, so we know that for Fleming's left hand rule, the thumb represents the force. The, in, the finger represents magnetic field and this finger represents the current. So we remember using the keyword FBI, force, magnetic field, and then current. So, same thing we apply to um, Fleming's right hand rule. F, B, I. We do the same, exactly the same posture, but this one is force, and then magnetic field, and then current. So, it's exactly the same, just that the difference is the left and right. So, we have talked about how similar they are, now we have to talk a bit about what are the differences between Fleming's left hand rule and Fleming's right hand rule. So on the left column, Fleming's left hand rule. I use the short form. Right column, Fleming's right hand rule. Okay, so the first difference, um, we just say that it only applies to direct current motor. And how about Fleming's right hand rule? It only applies to a dynamo. So remember it, left for motor, right for dynamo. The second For Fleming's left hand rule, force is produced, whereas for Fleming's right hand rule, induce current. I believe you heard this term before, induce current, during our electromagnetic induction topic. Induce current is produced. So what means by force is produced and induced current is produced? So can you, can you recall a bit about the direct current motor? You're given first the current, the dry cell. So from the dry cell, the current will be provided. And then what do you have? You have the magnetic field. Where does the magnetic field come from? It comes from the permanent magnet. So you can see that you have B, the magnet, the I, the current from the battery, and then by these two things, force is produced. So for Fleming's right hand rule, you'll be given a permanent magnet as well, but the current is not given. You'll be given the motion, the force, so that you have a permanent magnet, and then you have the force. So you have F and B. So the I, the current, the induced current will be produced. Next, the third difference between left and right. Like I said just now, permanent magnet and
and um, current is provided. So this permanent magnet, uh, I can, I can, might as well just call it permanent magnet, magnetic field. Because the permanent magnet, they provide a magnetic field. So what about for Fleming's right hand rule? Yes, the same thing. Permanent magnetic field. And remember, current is produced. It is induced by the motion. So, and force. produced. So you will learn further about dynamo on our next tutorial so you can fully understand that what means by induced current is produced and what means by the force is provided. So sorry, wrong word, provided. So that's all for the difference between Fleming's left hand rule and Fleming's right hand rule. So remember it, Fleming's right hand rule applies only for dynamo. And Fleming's left hand rule applies only for motor. So in our next topic, we won't be using our left hand anymore. We will be using our right hand to determine the induced current and determine the induced current from the permanent magnetic field and the force. So remember it, right hand rule will be needed for dynamo, left hand will be needed for motor. So I hope you can remember this, um, remember it properly and then we'll apply it on the next, le next tutorial lesson. So see you, goodbye.